Hi, I'm Big Meech, and this is a Big Meech moment. Mm. Well, my darlings, <laughs> it seems that we are in apology season right about now, right? Uh, there's been several apologies that have gone forth, and I'm going to address uh, them in this little piece of a minute. Um, first off, let me start with Snoop. Um, let me say that I want to celebrate and commend Snoop for uh, being the bigger person and coming out and stepping up to his responsibility in that vitriol that he put out and that and that malice that he put out. Now, though a lot of people were in defense of him, I uh, I wasn't necessarily defending him. What I was saying was. A lot of people had a, a knee-jerk reaction to uh, the Gail King interview. And a lot of that was just emotion that had to process out because everybody's nerves were still raw, you know, with, with losing Kobe and carrying on. And so for him to have said what he said, taking a little time and say, okay, no, let me come back and, and apologize, that there was a big thing. Now, I will say this that all these apologies that I'm about to talk about, honey, we all know being in the public eye and having your people and carrying on, you got to do damage control. And now that we're in the age of social media, that stuff go out there like like lightning, okay? It strikes like lightning, it hits real fast. And so it allows the people to formulate opinions very quickly. It It is a ruse to get folks riled up and this here can cause a lot of harm, potentially, if, you know, folks who are, I'm going to call it weak-minded, but I'm going to say those who, who are just looking for a reason to strike out and to lash out. For those, uh, it can speak to those who are who are looking for uh, an excuse or, just, like I said, a reason to, to point a finger and say, because of this, I can now give this. It's justification for having heinous um, uh, reactions to uh, situations that go on. So, Snoop, I'm going to commend you for that. Um, as you all saw or heard, uh, Gail accepted their apology and then offered one of her own. Okay, now she didn't do it, uh, you know, in video style. She, it was in writing and carried on as she offered up an apology, which is what I think everybody was waiting for. Now, here's the thing. The apologies are out and everybody want to criticize the damn apologies. What the fuck do y'all want, people? First, you're mad. Then you want to, you, you were expecting an apology. Now you got one. Then you want to sit up here and say it ain't worthy of this. Oh, now it's, it's a little too late. You know what? Oh, this is what I'm talking about, you know? You ask for something, and because it's out there on social media, then the children want to sit down here and, and do this and do that, okay? Um, let me say this, too, because I didn't talk about this before, that there is uh, the Terry Crews apology. I told you, everybody on this damn apology tour. And the Terry Crews apology... Uh, Again, damage control, because now somebody, and, and he is sounding like it was damage control. Somebody got in his ear, Snoop sounded like damage control too, but he sounded more like, like somebody's grandmama got to him, you know, or whatever. It wasn't like it sounded like it was a PR person saying, do this to protect your image. Terry's, on the other hand, sounded like his PR person got to him and was like, no, you better make good on this. But see... The power to the people, children. Y'all don't like Terry Crews because y'all feel as though that he's one of the minions, if you will, of white supremacy. And they're using him and his his talent and carrying on to be one of the new minstrel shows and carrying on. And y'all can keep all that shit because uh, it really upsets me at times when we won't look at a person's success and, and and give it the merit that it is. Everybody want to sit down here and and criticize someone else's success and carry on. So Terry Crews, you know, he's not necessarily on the black card right now. Y'all won't y'all won't give him his little do I diddy thing or whatever. Y'all feel as though he's he's an agent of white supremacy. Just like y'all to put Oprah and Gail in that the agents of white supremacy shit. 
Fuck all that. Y'all can keep that. I'm not going to tell y'all what to think or how to believe because y'all y'all passionate about that. But for me, you can you you can keep that away from me, honey, cuz I'm not I'm not going to subscribe to all of that. Uh <laughs> let me go here. Miss Wendy Williams. She offered up a fucking apology. Mm. I ain't buying it. I'm not buying her apology because again, you know, she sits up here and says that, you know, she rewatched the show when she didn't realize that her delivery of this time and the other bitch, you knew exactly what you said and you knew how you said it and carry it on. It was no jokey joke. You've been in this too long, Miss Wendy. You've been in this entirely too long. And, and if I were to sit up here and put my two cents in it and think how it really, how it really went down, I think that on that commercial break, honey, your staff got to your ass and sit up there and said that was some foul shit, okay? Because you come and hit the way that you hit. And you, you wanted, the way how you hit, you hit like someone who threw a rock, cried fire, and then blitted into the crowd and they want to act as if you want to help look to find out who did it. See, that was bullshit. I'm not accepting that apology and carrying on, but you did what you did. It is what it is. It's just for me, uh, it, it spoke your truth. Okay. It just spoke to your truth on how you really feel about a couple of things. Now, uh, whether I'm right or not is, is a whole different issue. I'm just going to say as a celebrity and you putting this stuff out here, all of y'all who are on this, on this apology tour, I'm going to ask you to really, 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 really look at the apology that you're rendering to the people. Is it heartfelt? Is it coming from a place of sincerity? Or are you doing this to protect your image? Okay. Is this so that you can keep your coin together? Okay. Because there's been too many times I see one thing about Wendy. And I'm, I'm pointing her out because along this particular apology tour, if you will, of the people that I named, she has been the one who has who has been what the, the grand marshal of it because because of the type of entertainment that she has. She has always been a one who has had to make an apology for something that she has said. You know, that's that that fly jock shit and that how you doing shit. Because a lot of y'all don't realize when she was in radio that how you doing she used to try to clock folks. That was her way of outing people who she felt were gay, but were closeted or whatever. So every time she would go, how are you doing? When she was doing her little radio interviews and stuff, that was her way of saying, bitch, we know you're gay. You need to come out. And that wasn't cool in nobody's books. So this whole on the sly shit and carrying on, that's why I'm not buying it. I'm not buying this apology and carrying on. You were sitting up there trying to out folks and trying to trying to expose the down low folk of this, that, and the other shady style. But that that there is part of your brand because your brand is messy. Your brand is I'm a pop culture commentator and messiness is what sells me. That's how you make your coin. Am I, am I to fault it or whatever? I can't knock your hustle, baby, because, because the people allow you to do it. Because if they didn't like it, you wouldn't have a job. You wouldn't be who you are. You, you become a fucking icon on messiness and the kids love it. Okay. The kids love it. And, and, and I'm saying the kids because you have a huge gay following. A huge gay following. And for you to do some shit the way that you did, bitch, no. Okay, you can apologize all you want. However, this still is a part of your brand. So we're going to come across. You're going to do the kissy, kissy, kissy for a little minute and try to go LGBTQ plus and carry it on. And then eventually it's going to come back to this. So, okay. Hmm. So now, all of you who are on this apology to a honey, I'm just asking all of you to look into your hearts. Dig deep. Don't give me the surface shit. Dig deep and make sure that you are focusing on the people and not your publicists and your managers and your bag because it's the people that put you there and the people can take you out of there as far as sitting up, as far as that celebrity status and carrying on so don't sit up there and play the people and don't play yourself ultimately because if it's real it'll show 
If it ain't real, that'll show too. And the only thing that's going to bite, the only person that's going to bite in the ass in the long run is you. So while we're on these tours and carrying on, let's make sure that we're doing it for the right reasons. And um, yeah, make sure that it's, it, and, and that it's from the heart and not from up here because you're trying to overthink it. Right. So that's my uh, moment at this point in time. Oh.